we have discussed about uh, various uh, deterioration factors which are uh, related to the watershed uh, now we are going to talk about the uh, consequences of uh, watershed deterioration so i have listed here some of the important consequences because of uh, watershed uh, deterioration uh, so now let's see what are the consequences um, so one of the important consequence is low productivity so productivity of the agriculture grassland forests uh, so as we have seen in the um, previous uh, uh, discussion that one of the uh, deterioration is loss of agriculture loss of grassland uh, deforestation so because of this the entire biomass within the watershed gets reduced uh, and as uh, your grassland is reducing as your uh, forest area is uh, reducing it also affects your um, agriculture uh, uh, production so overall the biomass within the um, uh, uh, within the watershed uh, is uh, reduced uh, that is one of the major consequence of the watershed uh, deterioration so uh, uh, if we have to go for a more and more scientific management of uh, various resources within the uh, watershed uh, in, uh, for that uh, the most of the time uh, 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 we have to consider the productivity factors uh, 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 as far as the biomass is considered within the uh, watershed so that means the agriculture whatever the agriculture practices are uh, there uh, and the productivity and the, uh, the products from the forestry uh, uh, that is also uh, getting reduced so the low productivity is a major issue mm, then as far as the water issues are considered uh, the uh, declination of uh, ground water levels as well as the uh, surface water the availability of uh, sufficient uh, surface as well as ground water is important uh, for uh, watershed management uh, so when the availability of surface as well as ground water uh, reduces the farmers uh, the uh, the water will not be available for farmers through irrigation practices uh, so that leads to uh, various issues related to uh, agriculture uh, so uh, the availability of surface water uh, as well as ground water uh, will not only affect the uh, domestic water supply but also uh, water for other purposes then the next issue is uh, declination of uh, availability of ground water so as the ground water levels are uh, declining uh, uh, in the watershed that affects uh, the uh, agriculture so more and more power will be required uh, to to lift the water uh, uh, which is uh, since the water levels are going down so that indirectly affects the um, cost of the agriculture so uh, this leads to the increased cost of agriculture so uh, that is uh, another consequence of watershed uh, deterioration uh, the next uh, uh, point is siltation of lakes reservoirs or uh, various channels so here you can see in this particular sorry yeah in this picture you can see uh, a lot of siltation uh, because of the soil erosion so soil erosion is one of the deterioration problem that we have seen earlier so because of that uh, whatever the uh, eroded soil uh, it it flows through runoff and gets deposited in the channels or reservoirs or lakes so that reduces the discharge capacity of the rivers uh, or the channels as well as the storage capacity of the reservoirs and uh, uh, lakes so this is the uh, the, the consequential effect uh, because of the uh, uh, watershed problems <clears throat> then the next point is uh, uh, floods and droughts so when uh, these uh, 
the deposited soil when it uh, uh, it is it is affecting the discharge capacity of the channels or streams or uh, rivers also uh, the storage capacity of the reservoirs is reduced so all these um, uh, water uh, we which is earlier flowing through these uh, channels and streams now gets flooded in the surrounding area so because of the watershed problems like soil erosion it uh, gets converted into floods similarly because of uh, the uh, 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 soil erosion problems or deforestation uh, the rainfall or precipitation patterns uh, gets affected and that leads towards or even the availability of groundwater or depletion of groundwater levels that leads to the uh, problem of uh, droughts in a particular watershed that we are considering. <clears throat> then the problem of uh, soil erosion that we already uh, discussed, uh, but once when the soil is getting eroded from one area, it's it is ultimately going to be deposited in another area. So, the soil erosion problem uh, as we can see the loss of soil from uh, uh, various uh, watersheds at the same time uh, this eroded soil is getting deposited in another area. So, that is causing another problem. So, denudation, denudation of uh, soil uh, in the another region. Uh, that is another consequence. <laughs> so, next part uh, problem is regarding the uh, pollution of uh, water sources uh, like uh, the, 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 the quality of uh, the uh, water is getting affected. So, uh, so not only uh, the quantity of water is the problem, but also the water quality is also major issue. Uh, so, the uh, available uh, water, uh, uh, if it is not of a good quality for various uses, uh, then it will be an another issue in the uh, watershed. And uh, all these problems that we just discussed like low productivity or uh, the availability of water, uh, ground water or surface water for agriculture or increased cost of uh, the subsequent increased cost of uh, agriculture. So, all this will lead to uh, the uh, poverty. So, uh, whatever the social, uh, socio economic uh, aspects of uh, the people who are residing within the watershed, uh, the, then because of all these uh, consequences. Uh, the the uh, the the availability of the livelihood options uh, will get reduced uh, and ultimately the uh, they have to face the overall uh, the poverty within the uh, watershed so this analysis of the watershed uh, uh, deterioration and its uh, consequences uh, is very important when whenever we have to have some watershed management practices is to be implemented within a particular watershed.